Hey, let's talk about why there's an app out there that you need to try. An app that could take down a $10 billion empire. And by $10 billion empire, I obviously mean Notion, the big kahuna in the productivity app space. Now, what kind of app could take this down? An app that's a suite of sorts, the smartest of suites, SmartSuite. So in today's video, we're gonna break down some differences between these two applications and why SmartSuite has the edge over Notion in a lot of ways. First of all is flexibility. I think we all know that Notion is a really quality app. But one of the things that I struggle with often is knowing that when I'm going into my Notion workspace, that it's gonna be filled with options and not just options from like a purely functional standpoint, but I mean, we're talking about something that quite literally, I mean, we got blocks here and I mean, you gotta start from scratch. It's literally an empty page that then you gotta figure out what to do with. Now there are templates and all that sort of stuff, but there's no structure and you have to make the structure. And for some of us, that's not really the best thing. A little bit too much flexibility isn't the best for everyone. Now, SmartSuite on the other hand does offer a lot of different flexibility, but it strikes a lot better balance, right? If I go into this blogger podcast manager solution here, it's gonna have a lot of similarities to other solutions because it's the same layout every single time. It gets a little confusing when every page layout is different in Notion. The fact that I obviously have different views here offers some flexibility, but the fact of the matter is, if I go into my Notion workspace, it's just, I mean, you, you can go through this very quickly and see like, all right, this is a mobile view. This is the desktop view. It's just like for somebody that doesn't want this, it's a little bit overwhelming and we have to respect that. And then when it comes to databases, I have to say that Notion has kind of struggled from this standpoint, right? The database management side of things with Notion is not quite what it could be, especially for how long the app's been around. SmartSuite's really focusing on having these different shared views and the ability to even have passwords required when going to these shared pages, having a bunch of different access options that Notion is lacking. And it does just overall serve as a little bit of a better work management solution in comparison to what Notion has. I mean, we got a lot of things built in here that are a lot better than what's on Notion's basic plan. So for example, the pricing on Notion's enterprise plan is obviously anytime you see request a demo, it's not gonna be cheap. And in order to have added security controls, you're gonna have to go with the enterprise plan, but you have a lot of built-in security controls inside of SmartSuite already. Without needing you to spend that significant amount of enterprise level money, you get a lot of the baseline stuff, even for just the team plan. And that is pretty important because when we end up scaling teams, it gets really pricey when you're getting on an enterprise level plan for a tool like Notion. Now, both of these tools do provide flexible databases. I'm not gonna deny that. If you go and press here to add a new field, you're gonna have a myriad of different options for both of these. However, it's really cool is that there's a lot of different collaborative options here, like giving ratings, adding upvotes here. So if I were to add this vote option, it's just not something that you're able to do in Notion, right? I'm able to add my vote. Multiple people are able to add their vote. It's really cool. But as you can see, there's already a lot more different options here with time tracking, buttons, which don't get me started on the fact that Notion doesn't have that. It obviously has formulas. It has record IDs with Notion just came out with, but it took them long enough. Because if you really think about it, like the fact that all these are here so early is really cool. And this really does show the flexibility that Smart Suite has. And I've noticed from talking with the CEO that their goal is to just keep rolling out features and keep rolling out features and keep rolling out features. It's awesome. Like Notion's got a cool free plan, right? But as we've kind of pointed out, some of the baseline features that you're gonna get with Smart Suite are a lot stronger. Like if I go to something like my work page, this is just not something that's built in to your Notion workspace. You don't have all these different options to look at things by due date, priority, solution across your workspace and have an integrated system that really works for you. I mean, I often struggle with the fact that Notion has just lacked automation, baseline task organization just built into the platform. And when comparing the two, I really want you to think about SmartSuite as more of a work management solution rather than just like, the all-in-one app, vague terminology that seems to be thrown out there. Because for example, when I go into a sales CRM, right, and I look at the different accounts I have, I then am able to take a look at something like a dashboard, which is really cool. I'm able to see widgets of all this different information. I'm able to make forms out of this. I'm able to do so many more things 
with the data and not need to bring in a myriad of third-party integrations that like augment the tool. I cannot make this any more clear. Notion in comparison to SmartSuite when it comes to integrations is laughable. SmartSuite has the ability to integrate nearly anything. I mean, just even look at the widgets, for example, like obviously it's got a bunch of charts built in, like is Notion ever gonna make charts? Let's be real, probably not for a long time. And I mean, we're able to add conferencing widgets to this dashboard. We're able to, in a project management solution, be able to add automations. There's a direct Zapier integration here. Have triggers that then allow for real automations within this work management software. This is not the kind of thing that you're going to see in Notion. And on the inverse, what you're actually able to do, for example, which is really good, is you're able to embed this kind of stuff inside of other tools. There's an open embed code option where, for example, like I can just share this and you'll see that it's a shared view, but I could embed this into other tools. This is not something you can really do in Notion. You can't take Notion and then paste it out as an embeddable option on the other end, but you can with SmartSuite. Even within SmartSuite, we're getting to the point where the communication center and your ability to discuss with each other isn't just limited by in-app items. We can turn on email and magically, we then have a system where we can send emails from SmartSuite to other people through the platform. That's right, I can send emails through my work management platform. What are we even talking about here? Do you have an app that can do that? What are you gonna use, Outlook? Lol. And then a couple other things that I really like in SmartSuite in comparison to Notion is the fact that from a permission standpoint, you can change it at a solution level. So like all members have full access or only team members do, only specific members do. And it has a lot better of a breakdown here. So contributor, for example, someone can make the content, but they can't delete it. That's something I'd really like with a Notion. Can create and edit their own content, but only view other content. I really like that. I don't like how Notion doesn't have that kind of granular level of permissions. In Notion, you're basically giving them edit access and they can do everything except add new people. Like, cool. Such a limitation. When you have a work management solution that allows you to automate stuff, actually have integrations, allow for good team communication within the platform. I think for people who are trying to do work or have teams that are trying to do work, this is a pretty compelling argument for this being the better choice. Now, this is a sponsored video, but I genuinely just brought up all the different things that SmartSuite has in comparison to Notion. So if you have a small team or a large team and you're thinking about switching to SmartSuite, make the smart decision and try it out. Because there's two universes that exist. There's one where you try it out and you have nothing to lose because they have a free plan. And there's the other universe where you don't try it out and you don't have the opportunity to see if you like it. Thanks again to SmartSuite for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out this one on how to improve your productivity even more.